Welcome to Coffee Talk. Tina and I are here with some of the ladies that take care of the Madison Chautauqua. And this is Amy Fishmer and Jenny Straub. Yes. So today we're going to find out some of the cool things that they're doing. And one of the things this year are you going to have new artists, aren't you? Yes, we have expanded the show. We are at 220 artists. Um, most of them, oh, a little less than half, are new this year. So you can see everything from fine art to fine craft. Um, you are going to find new painters, new sculptors, new photographers, uh, jewelers, um, everything. Ceramics. Wow, that's mm -hmm. great. That is just wonderful. Now, Tina, you had a question for me. You had a neat thing you were going to so ask. So tell me about Chautauqua. How did it begin? How long has it been going on? And what are the benefits as far as our community? Well, 48 years ago, um, some community members started the Chautauqua um, pretty much to bring tourists to the town and increase revenue and business for the downtown businesses. That is why we started. That's still our function. And that's um, what it does. That yes. is what it does. Um, and that's been going on for 48 years. And this oh. is the 48th? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, that is neat. A couple of more years, we'll be having the... It'll be a big one. Yeah. We're already <laughs> planning. Already <laughs> in the works. In the works. We're planning. So what about That's the money, awesome. that the revenue that it does bring mm -hmm. in? Does it all go back to the festival or does it go to other you know, pots in the... Yes. A large, um, a large amount of it is used to put on the next one. Sure. sure. Um, but we do have a Chautauqua Scholarship. Um, what is the exact name of that scholarship, the Bob and Mary Foreman? It's the Bob Foreman Bob Memorial Foreman. Scholarship. Bob mm -hmm. is one of the founder was one of the founders of the Madison Chautauqua. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So there was a group of people yes. that got together yes. and said, we need to increase this tourism. Yes. And so they have a scholarship for that. Yes. And how could you apply for that? Um, mm -hmm. So you can apply through the Community Foundation. Okay. Um, that application begins in February, and it's through all of their other scholarship programs. Um, our scholarship, though, we look for a student, uh, junior or senior, who would like to um, explore arts in college. They don't necessarily have to be looking to major in art, but that they want to take art classes and can continue that on in their lives. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That is neat. So now, what are some of the new additions we're going to see this year besides artists? What are some of the new things you've got? So this year we have our Eight Decades Drink Tent. Um, it is something that we're using as an additional fundraiser for the Chautauqua. It is being sponsored by and ran by Mad Paddle Brewery. Oh, yeah. Jerry Wade has completely handled that for us. It also includes Simmons Winery in Columbus and Thomas Family Winery here locally. Oh, yes. that's wonderful. You just kind of really got the region in there. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's the so. first time that we've ever had alcohol at the event, so we are, have themed it this year as Leaving Prohibition. Yes. <laughs> leaving Prohibition. That well, neat. that's appropriate. That's that very is appropriate. appropriate. Yes. That's so, amazing. Now, some of the other things. How many booze can people expect to find when they come to Chautauqua this year? So you're going to find 219 artists oh, involved wow. in the festival mm -hmm. in actual booths this year, um, along with our amazing food fest. Mm -hmm. um, we have new concessionaires this year, and Ginny can tell you about those. Yes, um, the new among the new ones that we have this year is um, a seafood truck called the Dock. Oh, yeah. um, from what I understand, his seafood is very fresh and it's amazing. Um, so we need to try that out. We have a taco truck called Fistful of Tacos. They have vegetarian options uh, in addition Along to... Along with it. Yes, they're, they're, they're really fresh, form-to-table type wow. ingredients. It's they're really good. Um, and we've always had a concessionaire um, called Chubby Churros, but this year he's bringing a wood-fired pizza oven as well. So there will oh, be wood-fired pizza. Wow. With yeah. anything that you want, well, within reason, um, with your choice of toppings on the pizza. And, you know, we still have our Aunt Angie's Funnel Cakes mm -hmm. and Mr. Beefy's. And, um, Tell them about the funnel cakes. The funnel cakes <laughs> blew my mind, actually. Amy's very excited well, about the funnel cakes. <laughs> well, you usually, you know, you, you see your funnel cakes and everybody who doesn't like a funnel cake, right? But she has all kinds of toppings. and I describe it as funnel cake meets pie. Yes. Oh, that's wow. a pretty good description, oh, too. Like the funnel cake is the crust yes. and then there's... On top yes, of it has the pie this. filling in the yeah. middle. Oh, it's amazing. Beautiful. And our, I have to say also our crab cakes that we have. Mm -hmm. You know how you get a crab cake sometimes and you're like, I just ate a 
stuffing cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, these are like ninety five percent crab. Really? Oh, it seems like it to me anyway. Yeah, they, 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 in chunks, like yes, big chunks. Yes, they're they're very good. And our German corner is really popular, and she has yes. really good desserts. We have a wide variety of things down there, and you're you're even able to eat healthy down there. We made a Facebook post, so I would tell oh, everybody to go wow. and look at our healthy. Um, our healthy options Facebook so vegans and there's vegan there's vegetarian there's sugar-free drinks that you could get mm -hmm. um, we, we mapped it all out for you so if you're still wanting to stick to your diet while you're at a festival I don't know why you would do that but if that's what I you want to do <laughs> if that's what you want to do it's part well, of you might be saving the calories for the new booth right yes, oh, okay. yes. yes. if you want to drink the calories, drink the calories. calories. <laughs> yeah, there's so many good things like I don't even we're there all weekend and I can't even figure out how I'm gonna eat it all but I have to yeah. oh, I always wonderful. give it a really good effort anyway <laughs> I don't blame you. I would. I would really try. Now, with the Chautauqua, the name Chautauqua, mm -hmm. where did it come from? What what made them so, choose that? So, Chautauqua is actually something that Madison had to get permission to use from Chautauqua, oh. New York. Mm -hmm. um, so, Chautauqua, New York is the founding of where um, most art festivals began yes. years and years ago. Uh -huh. So, um, th when they began 48 years ago, um, the group of artists and business people in town that began this community of artists that they brought into the town for the weekend, um, they got the permission from Chautauqua, New York to use the name. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's that is I never knew. I've always asked, and people don't know. But <laughs> you two know. That's great. We can even spell it. <laughs> what, I mean, did they I just can't. know that? Was that somebody from there, from um, New York, or it was? I I, I don't think visited. It, I think someone really? had visited, yes. and it was a known fact that the art festival trend was maybe just beginning, and mm -hmm. that it began there in Chautauqua, New York, yes. and oh. yeah. So that well, is we have another festival that kind of coincides but not necessarily mm -hmm. the same festival mm -hmm. and so I know a lot of people from out of town I've lived uh, several places and they mm -hmm. ask about that what is the difference between and it's called old courthouse days correct it's old court days yes. Yes. old court days mm -hmm. and then Chautauqua what mm -hmm. is the difference between them well the old court days is run by the pilot club okay um, it's on the other end of town it's around the courthouse um, our festival is juried, so all of the artists that you see in our show has been has gone through a jury process. Mm -hmm. okay. um, at Old Court Days, you will have art items and craft items, but you also would have items um, perhaps like Scentsy or 31 Now. I mean, I'm not sure exactly that they have those particular right. items down there, but those types of items, you can find them there. Um, so there's, there's just really a slight difference, um, but they're both worth attending. Right. right. Yes. Well, that's what we were... <laughs> trying to get you all to tell us about the difference between them because mm -hmm. we've had people come to town because they heard about the Chautauqua from mm -hmm. us and they go to old court days and they, yes. then they call me and say Debbie I didn't see any artwork right. yeah but yes. they didn't they don't realize if if you go to old court days at the courthouse you need to come down Main Street a little further yes. because yes. old court days is at the courthouse and then you have to go West, yes, to find Chautauqua. So it's on the other so end. So it's of town. actually kind of nice that they are on the same weekend, mm -hmm. but just to understand yes. that they are two different entities. It, it, yes. What we like to say is, well, it, a lot of people, if they come from Kentucky and they come across the bridge, yes. that's the first thing they see is that festival, so they think they've hit it. But the beautiful thing is, is if you hit that festival and then you hit all of the shops down Main Street, right. you're going to find gonna, Chautauqua. Yes, right. right. So you run so, into us on the other end of town, yeah, after and that includes the whole stores. town. Yes. yes. You know, so yes. it's, you can you can have a lot of fun. You can go shopping, and you mm -hmm. can go to two different festivals, and mm -hmm. you get all kinds of. You can go I honestly, oh my gosh! <laughs> I honestly think that's why um, it's such a popular weekend mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. there is so much going on. We're in a beautiful historic town, yes. um, so it all just it all just supports one another. Right. But my advice to um, someone visiting for the weekend would be to come to the Chautauqua, ride down on the shuttle bus from MCHS. Pay five dollars round trip. Leave your car up there. Don't worry about driving down here in this traffic because it's oh. crazy. Oh wow! And then go to the Chautauqua. And then when you're done, you can come out the Broadway information tent by the Broadway information tent, and you can hop our downtown shuttle, which will take you up and down Main Street and oh. to Old Court Days. Um, so that way. You're tired. I mean, you know, it's a lot of walking. And it's, and it's, it's a lot of walking. Admission and the shuttle is event. wonderful. Yes. yes, both festivals are free admission. Mm -hmm. um, the shuttle from Madison Consolidated is it's $5 round trip per person. And then the um, downtown shuttle is a dollar a ride or $5 for the weekend. Oh, so you can just pay $5 yes. and, and just you get jump a band on and, and you can on. go yep. on and off all weekend. Yes. 
It'll I mean, be along shortly. Just use it as your personal driver. You know. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's such a, a lot easier place. than trying to park. Oh right. Right. You know. Well, or even is. the stress of driving. Mm -hmm. I mean, even on Main Street, mm -hmm. it can be so stress. Like crossing the street on Main Street can be stressful <laughs> that weekend. Let alone yeah. trying to drive with all of the people. Um, right. It becomes kind of free range going across the street of right. Main Street during the. No oh, one yeah. waits for the stoplight or anything else. So. No. <laughs> We're down at the festival. Um, between six and seven every morning and sometimes we have a hard time finding a place to park. <laughs> right. So I think it's worth it. I would do the shuttle if I was coming in. Yeah. Well that's wonderful. Now Tina you have another question for them. Is there any more? You had one I think more? I we thought? wanted to know more about the... No. No? <laughs> she doesn't have any no, more I think I, that was it. Well, oh, we do you, need. you have a very yeah. special event. Because I was yes. thinking, what did, where mm -hmm. were we going to... You do have a very special event to mm -hmm. announce. So yes. can yes. you do that for us? Um, we have a special event every year. It started three years ago with our bicentennial. We started off with a demonstration village. Last year, we had Cirque de Chautauqua, where we had a circus on the South Lanier Lawn. This year, our special event is Art in Motion, and it's on the South Lanier Lawn as well. You can come down and see various different artisans make their items. Um, you get to watch the whole process. We have oh. a blown glass artist named Lisa Pello. She'll be making glass. Um, on Sunday, I believe, you can come down and pay a fee and make your own piece if you would like to. Um, we have a blacksmith that is operating a forge. He'll show you how to make all his metal items. He'll let you operate his forge. Um, oh. We have oh. a spray paint artist, Tyler Emery. He's very charismatic. He's ve uh, his, the, the things that he paints are very charismatic and exciting. And he's local. Yes. Um, he's from Holt. Holton, Holton, yes, and um, we have two plein air painting painters, um, locals, Kevin Carlson and Debbie Black, and then we also have a book binder. And she's and, local. Yes. Oh, and I almost forgot our poet on demand. We we would like to increase more spoken word because it is an art, and he will be down there. You can buy his art books, or you can ask him to write a poem just for you. He'll type it out oh. on his antique typewriter, and he'll sign it. Wow. It's very nice right there, presented. Wait, wait. Yes. <laughs> and it has an antique typewriter. Yes. That's my favorite part of yes. hearing that. And <laughs> I like as to a hear writer, that too. I actually like to hear it's that. It's very satisfying. Yes, I agree. Is. I actually yeah. have one. And yes. It's so heavy that it's all I can do to carry it from one place to another. It's yes. it's really cool. So. Yes. That is neat. What about mm -hmm. some other musicians? Because I know when I've been in the Chautauqua, been at the Chautauqua in the past, you walk around and there's like people playing mm -hmm. music. That's one of my favorites. So do you have some that lined up? We do. We have um, Rob House and his group will be there. Okay. Um, we have Emily Ann, our tap our tap dancing um, fiddle player. Everybody loves her. Aww. We have Bob Culbertson with his Chapman stick, Chris Jesse, John Adkins. Um, on the Lanier lawn on Saturday from noon to four we have the Derby City Dandies. They're very popular. And on Sunday at the same time on the Lanier lawn we have a country um, artist named Melissa Lee. And if I forgot someone I'm really sorry. But they're all, <laughs> they're all wonderful. They just add to the ambiance and the environment. Um, they, they, they really do round out the weekend. That is wonderful. I think so. I think I think it's going to be a great weekend. Now, if people want to contact you or check out the Chautauqua, where should they go? They should just call Amy. <laughs> just call Amy. <laughs> well, we, everybody <laughs> heard that. Just call Amy. Don't worry about the rest. <laughs> like, that's an automatic number everybody knows. No, right? no. People just know how to get old. just want you to call Amy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well... So if you call the Chautauqua number, you're going to get Amy. <laughs> so our number is 812-571-2752, and you will get me if you call that. Well, or you'll get our voicemail, and then I will call you back. <laughs> um, our Facebook is the best place to get information. Mm -hmm. Like Jenny had said, that you can find out about all about um, healthy eating at the festival through that. You can also find out all the best sweet treats, like the lady who makes the funnel cakes with the pie combined. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you can also find out uh, different artists that we have in the festival this year, new and returning. Um, you can find out about musicians. You can find out about other concessionaires. Our sponsors. Our sponsors. Yes. We always promote our sponsors through there. You can see our um, poster print for this year, right. um, which is also our t-shirt for this year. And um, we have hats this year, all of those things. So you can see a picture of that. Our artist this year is Brenda Shropshire. Mm -hmm. She um, is a local artist and she did our painting um, that we also transferred into our t-shirt design. So, oh, And she's wow. self-taught and her, her artwork is just 
amazing. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, yes. Um, it's a natural talent. Thing. Yes. It's a natural talent. I'm always impressed with that. Yes. I'm always impressed with that. And you can find her in our local artist booth. Mm -hmm. um, we have a local artist booth that we donate um, to local artists who don't have enough work to have their own booth, but would like to be able to share their work with um, people. Um, we also, you'll find Brenda there. She has space in that booth as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, She'll so also be in the info tent signing the poster yes. on Saturday at what times? Um, 10 to 11.30 in the morning on Saturday and then 4 to 5 on Saturday. It's also the only way you can get your print signed by the artist mm -hmm. oh, is to come yes. to the festival and meet right. her and do that. And you so have to meet her because she she's so funny. She is such a pure heart, mm -hmm. very kind. Um, I, my impression of her is that she just is just loves everybody that yes. she meets. Yes. Oh, well, I don't so say these sweet. things about every one of them. Right. I'm saying she she it really does it just shows on her face. She's one of the friendliest right. people that I've ever met. So she'll sign the poster or your T-shirt, whichever whatever you want her to sign. Yes. She'll okay. sign. Um, and then you can also get information about the festival through our website. Yes. And that is www.madisonchautauqua.com or madisonartfest.com. Okay. Well, we'll make sure we put that up so everybody right. can know how to spell Chautauqua because we can spell it for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> we love to spell one, Chautauqua. One thing I, I'm most impressed with and that you guys brought in and you talked about the Chautauqua, mm -hmm. but the way this is put on is by what? How many? Oh, volunteer base. Mm -hmm. You said you how, how many, many about? How many about do you think? So we have over 300 volunteers for the weekend. All community local people that just come together because they want to see the festival happen because it literally won't happen without the volunteers. No, it um, can't. And then our committee that plans all year round and everybody is always surprised because like we said before we've already started talking about the 50th year oh, in two years. Yes. We plan before this festival has even started for mm -hmm. even next year or the year after that. It's a year round thing for us. Mm -hmm. um, so even our committee is volunteer based so all of those people are giving all of their time every month, every day to work on this and make it happen. Just because they're helpful, supportive people. Yes. Right. <laughs> yes. And it's not, you know, we don't live in a metropolitan area. No, right. You know, no. we are a small community, so to say 300 yes, volunteers right. that come long. together right. to help with one festival is amazing. It really says a lot about our community. It yeah. does. Yeah. And it says a lot about your Chautauqua. It, yes. You know, we feel it does. <laughs> great revenue in producing for this entire community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's a great group of people to work with. And that's, that's why you have 300 people because yes. It's a great group of people. Well, Jenny and I are fun. <laughs> <laughs> we make everything so great. <laughs> Especially when you're not separated. Yes. <laughs> Just don't separate yes. us because then panic attacks us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We won't separate they do work. <laughs> they work very well together. And if you separate them, you don't have the full effect. So <laughs> we have to keep them together. We fully admit that we are one person. Together we make one Chautauqua person. Yes. She knows half, I know half we need each other. <laughs> well, that, and that's that what it takes. Amazing. Yeah, and that's what it takes to get it all done. And so. Jenny's great about des describing our committee as really a great friend group and yes. family. Uh -huh. um, yes. We enjoy spending time together outside of this. Yes, end. right. I, and I don't say those things lightly. Um, you know, but I have, it has always been my theory that, you know, you get more than three people in a room, you're not going to have the quality friendship right. there. Right. And I caught myself thinking it two months ago. We were at a meeting and we were all having a good time and I can honestly say looking around that group that I, I don't have one that I like more than the other and it all of a sudden just occurred to me this stop. <laughs> it all of a sudden just occurred to me that this is a large group of people and we are all really good friends. Good job. <laughs> that was she likes me best. <laughs> I was I was like doing good. Yeah. Well, she, well, I don't know if she likes you best, but she spends more time with you than anybody else. So she probably knows you best, right? <laughs> she definitely knows me best and that might be my little bit of attachment issue you. <laughs> <laughs> she separate yeah, like she's seriously like rain man on us when you were going to have me stand over there. I'm starting to get worried. That's why we're all in here, right? But we fixed it. it all. We got, them, we got them going and they look great. So they're doing terrific. <laughs> it is. So now tell them the date of the Chautauqua. We need to tell them when it is. So Chautauqua is this weekend, September 29th and 30th. And it goes Saturday and Sunday, both days from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And it, every year they can look for it when? It's, it's actually the last full weekend mm -hmm. of September. Right. Wow. So if you don't remember the date, the last okay. weekend of September. Yeah, sometimes yeah. sometimes it leap year doesn't fall in the last full weekend. Right. Yeah. But 
as long as they remember the last weekend in last September, weekend in September drive to Madison Indiana there's like three or four things going on at once right? so much to do and there's yeah. an event that you said you were gonna bring up and it was called the chalk walk the yes. chalk walk it also goes on during our festival and it's open to ages 8 to adult however old you want to be and it's on Elm Street <laughs> how old you want to be I would like to choose how old we can be I would yeah. thank you Amy yeah. See, I, I want to be a little young <laughs> It, it magically makes you any age and <laughs> it's on Elm Street and you get a section of the street and you can chalk in pastels anything you want on the street um, oh. we actually um, it's another fundraising portion of Chautauqua it's something that we use as a competition so we it's judged at 5 p.m. on Saturday and there's winners in three different categories mm -hmm. of age groups oh, um, wow. the kids age groups get t-shirts or posters and then adults there's also a cash prize that is awesome I know when we go to LaGrange they mm -hmm. actually have sections of the sidewalk that have been chalked or painted yes mm -hmm. and Oh, they're, they're how beautiful is that? They're always amazing. changing, so I can see where that's going to be really cool. I, it'd be mm -hmm. nice if they would well, stay, but and when we it photograph them. Yes, they, <gasps> but we Good. photograph them and then we use them, them all year on our Facebook. So you can right. actually see those on our Facebook page from last year yes. now. Mm -hmm. oh, so you can wow. see how amazing they were. There was a little boy. I think that's great. It is great. There yeah. was a little boy who sat on the street, and we give them pastels. You get to keep the pastels, and he looked on Second Street in the row of houses. He mm -hmm. chalked those onto his space, and you can see it on our Facebook page. It is exactly the houses, and he just mm -hmm. looked at it and just drew it onto the street. And his, his How old was he? 10, yeah. 12. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. I feel like that's going to be one of those. And we were kid, he was on our chalk. Yeah. Right. Now he's, yeah. Now he's going to show up somewhere. Yeah. Right. yeah he's going to have like, a gallery opening in New York or something. Yeah. Yes. He's in the Louvre. <laughs> <But> <laughs> that's amazing. I think when you have these, these contests or these events that kids can participate in, that's when we find out how rich our community really is. Yes. Because we wouldn't know that that young man could do that oh. if you weren't doing right. that event. Right. Right. I mean, it was, I mean, seriously, so. it's amazing. Kids are very talented when they can create art. But for any kid of that age to be that able to detail. sit mm -hmm. and yeah. look across the street and draw the what he sees and somebody be able to walk past and immediately get oh my gosh without seeing him staring right. at those houses mm -hmm. that he just drew those houses on the street and not just think oh he's just drawing houses right, right. but you could see that it's specifically those houses that oh he did. that's wonderful yeah now that's what, amazing. what time does that start is there a special time that they start um, doing they that? can start any time on Saturday that they want um, I think the ladies who run that for us begin at 8 but you can come in and start any time it just has to be ready for judging at 5 it's so fun. where do they go to sign up for this right there on Elm, Elm Street at the on Elm Street. Uh, Elm and Second. Yes, ma'am. Okay, on Elm, Elm and, and second. second. Okay. Well, I know some people. I'm not going to do that, but I will need kid to. <laughs> need to sign up for that guy. I'd have a big smile. <laughs> <laughs> a stick person. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have that boy come over and turn to take those pictures. <laughs> yeah, you can do the smiley face and let him finish. It. <laughs> yeah, he'll make that smiley face into yeah. you probably can before I take you a know it. And <laughs> plaster it there. Well, now That's is there anything wonderful. else we need to share with everybody before we wrap it up? We're looking for great weather. Jenny and I knock on wood every well, time we say it. We're going to check with Jay Cardosi. <laughs> he does our weather for us and he does our weekend event weather. So I'm sure he'll tell us how good it's going to be. And awesome. You know, I've heard it's going to be amazing. Well, I have too, yeah. so I'm just supposed waiting. to be perfect Chautauqua weather. Like yes. what you think of Chautauqua? Yeah. That's the weather. That's not, amazing. Not too cold no, this perfect. year. So. Yeah. We've and had if, some pretty cold ones. If you've never been to Madison, one of the things that I've talked about several times is the beauty of just Madison. Uh -huh. You know, this place has the most beauty I've seen across the country yes. truly I mean it's we have signs that tell you know about the right. history of it mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. look for them you know go out when you're walking up and down through Chautauqua look at those signs they yeah. tell the history and yes. it's, it amazes me I mean every time I walk on the river I'm always like I have to stop and read this one more time I didn't remember this story or mm -hmm. or then our artwork around yeah. the city oh yes there's so many I talented don't know people where, I don't know yeah. where they all came from and I know we mm -hmm. can't bring that up but I will say even just coming to your festival and mm -hmm. and the community coming together you still will see beautiful things that's, yes. I think that's what sets them apart is that in the fact that we have such variety in everything we do mm -hmm. whether it's the artists or whether it's business owners or mm -hmm. whatever it's just a huge variety people have moved here from all over the country yes, yes. 
Be and they want to retire here. Mm -hmm. So we have all that talent coming in here mm -hmm. that we can actually pull from. Yes. yes. And I think that's what makes us so unique. And yeah. there's something just about walking around downtown that just makes you want to be outside mm -hmm. and walking around. The architecture yes. is so yes. different. Every building is yeah. a little different than the one next to it and a lot of them are attached so mm -hmm. <laughs> right. it's kind of funny they're attached but they are different at the top or yes. you know the yeah. the window seals and the soffits are different but. we have paintings at the it's, I don't know if it's called an antique, but the Crystal Beach. I mean, there's paintings there. Oh, the murals on the our murals. buildings. Right. Yes, lots I mean, of our buildings have murals. We actually have a mural on um, Shooters. Yes. Um, down it on... It faces the river. It, mm -hmm. Shooters faces the river, and our mural is on the West Street mm -hmm. side of the building. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. we'll have to it's, check that out. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's one of our old poster one. prints. Really? By, mm -hmm. Yes, by Eric Fagan. He was one of our artists. He did a series of three for us, and it's one of those pieces. It's actually the tribute to the the anniversary of our bridge. Oh, yeah. neat! Yeah. Well, we'll have to take a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> so find that one. That's what I <laughs> see. So glad you told me about that. The Chautauqua is a beautiful thing, and I'm it so is. glad you guys came Thank in you. and talked to us about it. Thank we you really for appreciate us. you taking the time. You're welcome. Oh, so. We're so excited to see all your <laughs> events this weekend. <laughs> So I don't know of anybody that wouldn't be there, right? Right. Oh, there's nothing else to do in town, right? <laughs> and now if you're in Kentucky, you can just walk across the bridge. Oh, yeah. That's yes. Right. Park in yes. Kentucky and walk across the bridge. There you yeah. go. The A lot of people yeah. do. A lot of people mm -hmm. do, so that makes it really nice, makes it easier to get to. So. Yes. yes. Well, as always, we just really, we're really glad you're here. So next year we'll have to maybe do this a little sooner so we can get it out quicker. So yes. That'd Perfect. Be <laughs> and as for you all, Make sure you thank our sponsors because without them we couldn't do all the things that we're doing. Tina and I are really blessed to be able to bring you all kinds of events and go research things for you. And as always, we thank you for watching. Exclusive forecast is provided by WLKY Weather. Whenever you need the forecast, just ask, what's Jay say? Hi, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi here at WLKY. Let's talk about a couple of nice events going on uh, during the upcoming weekend, most notably on Saturday. We're going to start in Carrollton. Uh, we have the Carroll County Tobacco Festival going on. Uh, this is the Homestead Antiques and Home Furnishings. Going to be happening on Main Street in Carrollton, as I mentioned. Saturday is the day from 9 o'clock in the morning to 7 in the evening. There's going to be lots of farmhouse and homemade goods. And, of course, other vendors will be set up all over the place as well. So be sure and check out that event. That's a good one. Uh, to head out to. Also, this coming Saturday, uh, this is in Madison, by the way, from 10 o'clock in the morning to 5 in the afternoon. It's the Madison Chautauqua Festival of Art. There's live music, entertainment, food. Uh, 250 artists will be kind of spread across Broadway and also at the Lanier Mansion showing all their works of art. So uh, be sure and check out that one as well. And hey, you know what? The weather is going to cooperate. It's going to be beautiful this weekend, all weekend long. But on Saturday in particular, a little bit cool in the morning, maybe a light jacket needed. 53 degrees, lots of sunshine. We'll hold on to the sunshine through Saturday afternoon. Look at that. Beautiful high of 74. Enjoy your weekend. Hey, Jay, tell us what do you say? Hey, Jay, what do we say? After two decades, we can say a lot about Jay Cardosi. We can say he has your most accurate forecast and is the Ohio Valley weather expert. But it's not about what we say. What matters is what's Jay say. What's Jay say about your weekend plans, your Little League game? His answer is still the one more people trust. Want to know the forecast? Just ask. What's Jay say?